Next, let's look at examples involving inclined planes. First, a very important fact. If you have an inclined plane, okay, this is what we call an inclined plane. Let's say it's inclined at an angle theta to the horizontal. Yeah, you have an inclined plane. It's inclined at an angle theta to the horizontal. Now, let's say you place an object on the inclined plane. Okay. Now, when you place an object on the inclined plane, first off, we have the weight of the object that is acting vertically downwards. Okay. Now, let's look at the picture on the right. I have indicated W, the weight of the object acting vertically downwards. Now, when you deal with inclined planes, we are going to write components of W, one which is parallel to the plane, two perpendicular to the plane. Okay, I'll repeat. We are going to indicate components of W first parallel to the plane and then perpendicular to the plane. So if you look at this angle, this is theta. So this is 90. So this is 90 minus theta. Okay, therefore this angle here is theta. Okay, now let me just duck on it. Great. So now since I have W this way acting vertically downwards and I have the angle between the force and this direction, I'll repeat, I have the angle theta between the force W and this direction, therefore the component along this direction must be W cos theta. Okay, so since we are given the angle theta between the force and this direction, which is perpendicular to the plane, so the component in this direction, which is perpendicular to the plane, is W cos theta. And once I have written W cos theta, W sine theta will just follow. Okay, so good for you to remember this for examination purposes. When you have a weight W, the component which is perpendicular to the plane is W cos theta, and the component which is parallel to the plane is W sine theta. Great, so let's look at an example and talk about this idea. Okay, here we have a block of weight W rests on a smooth plane inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal so you have a picture here there's an object weight W 30 degrees and it's held in equilibrium by a light string inclined at 30 degrees to the plane okay they have indicated the tension T in the light string okay so this block is held in equilibrium by this string inclined at 30 degrees to the plane okay great so we are looking for we are trying to find in terms of W the tension in the string okay when you're dealing with inclined planes okay we are always going to resolve forces parallel to plane Okay, parallel to plane and perpendicular to plane. Okay, it's a very important idea. Okay, again, when you're dealing with problems involved or rather involving inclined planes, we always resolve forces parallel to the plane and perpendicular to the plane. Okay, very important. And second, okay. We will analyze forces. After we have resolved the forces, we will analyze the forces. Okay, parallel first and then perpendicular to plane. Okay, keep these things in mind. Okay, again, because they are so important, I will mention it again. When you deal with inclined planes, we are going to resolve forces parallel to the plane and perpendicular to the plane, and we'll analyze the forces parallel and perpendicular to the plane. That means we will use the information from step number one. So look at the picture that I've drawn. Okay, We have an object, the block of weight W, so you can see my W here. And remember we said 
the component of W perpendicular to the plane is W cos theta so it's W cos 30 and the component of W parallel to the plane is W sine theta here theta is 30 so W sine 30 great then the normal reaction R that is perpendicular to the plane so we don't have to worry about it I'll repeat the normal reaction R we don't have to worry about it because it is perpendicular to the plane remember we are resolving forces parallel and perpendicular to the plane so since R is perpendicular to the plane we don't have to do anything about it good next we have to worry about resolving T okay so I have the tension in the string I repeat tension in the string T and they gave me this angle 30 okay note the angle 30 now I have T the force and the angle between the force and the direction this direction parallel to plane therefore the component in this direction will be T cos 30 okay so they gave me 30 degrees between the force and the direction so the component along that direction will be T cos 30 and the other one of course will be T sine 30 now we've got all the forces indicated let's go ahead and look at our solution first we have to deal with remember I said we're going to analyze forces parallel and perpendicular to the plane so first let's look at parallel to the inclined plane now we're dealing with the equilibrium okay therefore the sum of forces along the plane must be equal to zero okay okay since equilibrium is involved sum of forces in any direction is zero so we are looking at uh, parallel to the plane therefore we are looking at sum of forces along the plane must be zero so let's take going upwards as positive so T cos 30 is going upwards so here you have it okay and W sine 30 is going downwards so we will take it as we can write it as T cos 30 okay plus minus W sine 30 there are no more forces that are parallel to the plane that will be equals to zero I repeat we are looking at forces that are parallel to the plane so T cos 30 is going upwards I'm taking that as positive then I have W sine 30 going downwards so now I can write T cos 30 minus W sine 30 equals to zero so we can make T the subject bring W sine 30 to the right you'll get T equals to W sine 30 over cos 30 this one here is tangent 30 so we can write W tangent 30 use a calculator and you'll get T equals to 0 0.577 W great now we have to look at the forces perpendicular to the plane so again sum of forces perpendicular to the plane must be 0 okay, because of equilibrium so let's look at the forces that are perpendicular to the plane we will assume upwards as positive okay so upwards we have let me write it here we have T sine 30 is going up and then we have got R is also going up and then we have a W cos 30 which is going down so let me write plus minus W cos 30 equals to zero so here you have it T sine 30 plus R minus W cos 30 equals to zero so make R the subject we have R equals W cos 30 minus T sine 30 and if you clean this up using a calculator okay you will get 0 0.5775 W as the magnitude of R I'll repeat we find R the normal reaction as equals to 0 0.5775 W now a quick note okay we have an inclined plane okay we'll consider this side as okay we'll consider this side as okay upwards okay and we'll consider this side as downwards okay so for equilibrium you can think of upwards equals downwards yeah those forces acting upwards will be equals to the forces acting downwards okay or when you're dealing with per perpendicular to the plane 
you can consider this as upwards and this as downwards. Yeah? So when you're considering forces perpendicular to the plane, forces acting upwards like this will be considered positive and forces acting this way will be considered negative. So we can write sum of upward forces equals sum of downward forces.